hello everyone welcome to my channel so for the next side project i was looking into a technology that would give me flexibility to launch the application on mobile as well as web so i stumbled upon flutter and over the weekend i worked over the home screen view so it's just like a dummy project that i'm working on right now just to get the skills so today i want to share how you can achieve something using flutter um, it's basically developed by google and it's a framework to create cross-platform application and it uses a language called dart and it's pretty easy so if i can learn it over a weekend you guys can too so let's get started so i already have the basic flutter setup i have installed every, all the dependencies that are required um, i might make another video for that how you can install flutter on mac but for this video i won't be covering that also i'll be pushing this code to github so all the images that i use in this project will be available so let's get started um actually so this is a dummy flutter project that we get if you guys want to see how it looks um let's run it flutter run Okay, so I have my simulator up. It might take some time. Um, and this will give me a demo app, which will be like a counter app, where you click on a button and it will increase the counter displayed on the screen. So once this thing builds up, then we can keep it running. And as we make changes to the app, we can reload our changes and it will automatically be reflected. Um, in in the simulator I think it might take one more second um, in the meantime let me open this file so this is a dependency file where we can mention all the dependencies that we use like if you guys have experienced with node so using npm we can define the dependencies that we are gonna use in our app so similarly we use this file to edit it and once the dependencies are installed we can import them and use in our code so i guess for this uh, video i'll be making use of two dependencies one is um, if you see the app here okay and let's see the simulator is working or not okay so it works you see it's a counter app when you click on the plus button it increases the counter okay anyways we can keep this running so in this app we see that we are making use of some font as the text is involved so i'll be installing google fonts as well as i'll be installing a chart library so that i can create this bitcoin chart also this in from the whole uh, i can say that from the broader perspective the easiest way to develop an app like this is to divide it into small pieces and then target those small pieces like for example in our case we'll have let's say three sections so one section could be a top nav which will involve two widgets then we'll have another section just for this cards and then we'll have another section just for um, our chart okay so let's get started um, i'll be updating components so it will be and i'll be using fl chart uh, i think these are the only two required for now okay um, another thing here is uh, a, we need to specify our flutter app to download our assets so if they have given the example how you can specify where your assets lie so you can actually give a command like assets and then for me it's under assets uh, images so it will be like images. okay so i guess it's there now let's run pub get so it will get all the dependencies it should be quick so now let's get rid of all of these we don't need any of these actually 
so my my home page i'll be creating a home screen separately so let's remove this and i think for this one yeah let's keep everything like this let's import our screen um so i don't have that file yet but i will be creating one soon so home screen dot dot okay so inside our lips folder we can create uh, let's see a package called screens and then inside screens we can have so i guess i need to give here screens yeah okay and then i'll create a file called home I might make mistakes along the way because this is the first time I am using this library. Um, but I think what's the file name in my home page? Okay, so let's keep the class as it is. Um, it should extend state um, full widget. Yeah, okay. And then inside it, we need a constructor. Let's copy everything. Okay. It's giving me an example. And then. Oops. Okay, so this is there. I guess. Let me type it out. we pass the title here okay and then we can call the super okay so this is our main page so this will contain all the widgets that we have here and yeah that's all we have so we can get started so uh, to do implement yeah, let's let's remove this let me throw here okay so we can do return and then we can create safe area um, so i'll go over it what the safe area means here so safe area basically is in iphone you must have seen that the design is something like um, there is a bend here on the top so sometimes like the curves are there in the iphone app so we don't want the content to get hidden behind that part right so that's why the safe area basically handles that automatically for us giving a padding to top and bottom now we'll use scaffold uh, scaffold as you know it's like a standard um, class or you can say framework to give us some basic functionalities uh, i think we need child scaffold and then we need background cover okay so 
so I think for scaffold you might need to install some dependencies. Uh, I guess uh, one we need is yeah material. We don't need to rent anyone. So I think the background color will be color and then I can give a color which is like a little black to one okay uh, actually we can I think if we are not getting error let's try to run it and see how it looks how our app looks so let's do a hard refresh uh, try using a constructor Screen 21, line 21 is okay. I think it's starting. Okay, so we get a black screen. Okay, so everything is good till now. Uh, so we have background color. Then I can have a body inside my scaffold. Now we can again get create a safe area, and we can start with our containers. So container. Now inside our container uh, will be having so this is this is like one container as I said there will be three sections so in our case it will be basically this whole one container and then inside each container will have separate containers right um, so it's like a, you can say like HTML how we have div and then inside that another div so yeah child I will have a list view here in my case uh, and then now we can have top nav bar so we can have container then I have my as I said this is the outer container and then inside this is the top nav container and inside that top nav container I have one icon on the right side uh, sorry icon on this side and then a profile image on that side so the profile image will be under a container so this icon is this icon library is provided to us by um, flutter um, I'm making use of that only to see this in action let's see okay so we see that now after the icon is done we need to create our container that will be of high let's say 60 60 so it will be under a box let's give it a border radius Yes, so okay. fifteen image image as I said uh, I'll be using a decoration image and now that we have our assets to be used we can give it a path assets images and inside that we have profile.pn okay so let's run this. Oops. Okay, so we got an error here. 
unable to load assets well, I guess do I need to install any dependencies no I don't think so um, I think maybe I need to run the app again for the dependency to be taken takes this time maybe the hard reload doesn't change what dependencies it fetched from pub spec I think my path is right or not let's see things so should work let's see so this is the container for top nav so I think after this we'll be adding our uh, the, the next section okay let's see if it works okay it works so maybe it was not taking it that time okay so now we have our top nav ready uh, we need some space here and then we can start with the card decoration so for that I'll be using a space with the Okay, so I want to do one more thing here for each card I would actually go ahead and create a separate class so it becomes easy for us so let's go ahead and create a model inside models and then inside this I would have a new file class and then what are the things we need uh, we need one image we need one um, text and one value right so in this case I can have one so right anyways I think it should work no unused okay maybe I will use them now so It's not taking class. Functions have an explicit list of parameters. Package basic models. Uh, card underscore model. Oopsie. Okay, silly mistake. be creating a card data so I'll be having some dummy card data right so it will be uh, data. 
so image will have assets images I have for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin dot PNG then I have name that will be Bitcoin and its value let's say for now because I'm not taking a dynamic value I'll name it 27 that's what I have in the UI so now let's complain here okay let's copy all of these okay and then I just need to change this to ethereum right Apple. okay At the time of recording, uh, crypto has gone really up. So these values might be less than what you see online. Bitcoin crypto. Oh, we need one more thing. We need to give them each of them a background color. So I will add one more parameter to it. Um, okay. So I'll be giving them an integer value. So these values, uh, I'm actually taking it from the Flutter online site. So we can just see Flutter color codes. So you get a whole color class um, that you can use. So I've taken one of these values like this is purple, yellow, some shade of blue and some shade of brown, right? Now so this is for now let's copy for each and every i think this video will be little longer so i'm gonna split it into two parts so the first part i'll try to finish this off and then the next part i'll try to finish the chart part because the chart will take some coding time okay let me give some colors to it now we have everything ready so here we need to convert it to do list okay and then here we need to assign we go we go through the map uh, let's call it item and then we do a car model we just gonna assign each one so let's convert each of everyone to so item and then we have image image dot to string name to string item and then I have value So it's an integer type, so I would need to convert it into a 
okay so this looks good now that we have the class ready i think i should be able to use it now so now we'll be creating another container as i said this will be one container and inside this container i'm gonna split it into two list views so this is one list view of horizontal size and this is another list view of horizontal size um, so height of 120 and now we'll create a child of this view dot builder and yes we are gonna create item builder so this is one child that we have here uh, we need to give it some settings scroll direction we need to keep it horizontal and then we need to give it padding then for item builder we basically can pass two parameters context and index now for the first child if we see we have four values in the card model so for the first row we need the index 0 and index 1 and then for the next next child we need index 2 and 3 right so I can basically do a check here if index then in that case return on the container so this itself is uh, another container inside which will be having uh, stacks so in this container I can have a margin why is this complaining okay cool. i think this will go away uh, once i complete this so yeah so now we have margin height 120 because our card are of circular size and then we get the color and we know that we are storing everything inside our background so let's import them Oops, that is imported so we have our card backgrounds now uh, I now understood that it's because of if else so let's return in case we don't get the index just return an empty box so I guess that error will be gone okay let's see what the output is yeah so see we see two cards here now inside each card we need to add something right so basically this is the container for each card now inside each card we'll be basically adding some of the other thing uh, so after our card background yeah here we can have a child and we can have a stack so we can have a stack as there will be three back one on each other so I'll be using a stack here I want everything to be centered and the children of the stacks will be okay so now top
okay so this is one position then after that we have the text to position so if you see the image we have image text and the value so I can actually maybe for the next one I'll copy paste position top T text name and then so for the text I want to give them a style as well google fonts dot enter font size of 14 actually so for the color I want a white color so it will be um, okay so I guess once I position this I can now have um, another position which is the value and actually I can copy paste this whole thing correct and then I can have it as a position of 75 inside that and then I have value here and then Oh, okay, so the color I think is the issue here. Maybe that's how it works. Okay, so we need eight digit. I think, okay, cool. So it works. So now, similarly, uh, let's see where it ends. Item builder, we need actually another list view, right? So, I actually need a container from this size. So, here I would create a sized box of height maybe 15 so that there is a gap, and then I can actually copy this whole part. then I just change the index oops okay I change the index to 2 and 3 let's see cool so it works uh, for this is some reason this color isn't seen we are using a little bit brownish so let's let's see can find the real let's see so let's use this ffa 18875 ffa 18875 ffa 18875 okay so it says bitcoin The price of Ripple was also wrong. Okay, so now let's do a hard refresh. Okay, awesome. So it works. Um, I'm gonna stop this video here because uh, I don't want to make this video really long. But uh, stay tuned for the next part. And if you guys li like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.